What up, y'all? So, I am about to explain something here that not a lot of people understand, which is my situation. Now, I'm going to try to be as transparent as I can be and explain the real truth about my situation. Now, I don't know if there's going to be multiple parts to this. I don't know, but I'm going to try to squeeze in as much as I can in the little time that I, the little 15 minutes that I have. Now, as a lot of y'all know, I get fucked with on a daily basis. So I'm going to explain to you guys how I got to this point. It actually started not with music biz, Marty, no Mastro Mafia, no, they come later. It started with my ex, Kendall Smith, who is inherently a nutcase with feet. She is literally a walking liar. She's the kind of girl that if a dude gets with her and then breaks up with her for whatever reason, she'll say they raped her, that they did this to her, that they did that to her, and she'll proceed them all kinds to call them all kinds of names and do stuff like threaten their families and all kinds of stuff. Well, I'm one of her exes. Me and her ended up splitting, or more or less, I ended up breaking up with her because I saw how fucking crazy she was. And I blocked her. She proceeded to do all kind of stuff after that, like pretend she was dead. Um, she called me pedophile, said that I raped her, and all kind of stuff. So, some years later, after all that went down, this guy named Music Biz Marty comes on the scene, sees what she put me through, and decides to join in. And by that time, I was working with a few friends of mine on music, and we ran a podcast, all that shit. Well, Marty came in, didn't know who he was, found out that the Marty that was in there was not him, so I ended up trying to find this guy, because the dude that was in there kept running his mouth and running his mouth. So I ended up trying to find this guy, and I wasn't able to find him, so I just I let it go. Well, little did I know, I ended up finding the real Music Biz Marty, thanks to an old friend of mine who just happened to come across the video that mentioned me. And Marty was on there attacking me. And I proceeded to try to correct him on everything that was going down. Because I had to do it with my ex Candle, Who, need I remind you, is a crazy psychotic psychopath. So, you know. He didn't... I mean, he didn't take it too well at first. But then... Things kind of blew over. So I went back to doing my music. And by the time that all this happened, I had already been doing music since like 2009. And I was starting to do vocal covers and different shit like that. Because right around that time is when I started to find my voice. Well, little did I know that he, that Marty would see this at some point and see me as a money grab so what did he do at first he was nice i told him dude i'm not interested in working with anybody right now i got a lot of a lot of stuff going on because by that point i had already released two albums back to back during that year um i was working on promoting and the second one, and also working on promoting the third one that I was supposed to be working on. Well, little did I know that Marty would see that as a way to screw with me. 
He saw my talent, wanted it for himself. So what did he do? He concocted this whole plan to make me look like a pedophile. In order to drive away all my friends and to isolate me because to him, I was an easy target. To him, I was money. I was an easy target that he can use and extort and blackmail to get whatever he wanted. So he proceeded to hire Mastral Mafia to make me look like a pedophile. Now bear in mind, Mastral Mafia, aka Kate Peters, is the most hated woman on the internet. Hands down. There is not one good thing that anybody has to say about her. Not one. She's done all kinds of scummy shit. And I mean all kinds of scummy crap. And so what did he have her do? He had her pose as an 18 year old fan. Which mind you is a legal adult. She then tricked me into sending certain photos. And then turned around by text message. Sent an image of either her daughter or an underage kid or something. Or at least at that time I thought that it was an adult. But then she turned around after sending that photo and said, by the way, I'm underage. And by that time I cut her off. After I saw that, I proceeded to cut her off. Cops got called out here that night. They talked to me and said that I need to be more careful. Well, as a result, I was harassed, bullied, had a dead baby pig in the mother's fetal sack sent in a box to my house. Um, they labeled me as a pedophile, as this and that and the other. And that kind of continued on. That whole stigma continued on until a couple years ago when it got really, really bad. When these two people, well, one of them came in about this time last year. The other one was from a few years ago, which is William Gloryhole. He proceeded to make me look like shit. He started off by making some really cool fan videos that at first I enjoyed. But then he proceeded to attack me. He began by getting names of my family members that were not on the internet. Got photos of my family that were not on the internet. And proceeded to call the cops to my house almost every night for two and a half years on a weekly basis and then we'd get the body cam footage and post it up on the internet which by the way is illegal as fuck to do and that continued on until about this time last year when this guy named n-word boy came in now n-word boy is a real evil motherfucker n-word boy is a dude that likes to steal. He is a troll that likes to make it very, very hard for somebody like myself to do anything. When he thinks you are something, there is no convincing him otherwise. This man proceeded to attack me at first and bully me just like every other troll. Until about... I'd say, what was it, like, January of this year, he had pulled some shady shit where he had started stealing my music and getting it copyrighted under a fake name. And then this guy named Tips TV showed up, saw what was going on, befriended me, 
got me out of that situation. And then later on, turned around, tried to pretend to be a 15-year-old underage girl, which I caught him in this fucking act. I caught him in the lie by proceeding to tell them or that person that he was pretending to be underage. I proceeded to tell that person, look, I know you're not underage. I know you're a legal adult. How old are you really? And then when they would not give me their real age, I proceeded to then block that person. But as a result of all this shit, I have been labeled as a pedophile. It is very hard for me to release any music. It's very hard for me to release any artwork, any merchandise. Um, I actually used to be a paid streamer on Twitch. I was actually a professional streamer. Um, I was getting paid a hundred and some odd dollars a month. And as a result of these people making it look like I was doing shit that I was not doing, I ended up getting my Twitch taken. And now every time I go to try to make some kind of money, they cut me off. Because they want to continue to extort me. Um, they want to blackmail me. Because of the fact that they think that I'm only good at one thing, which is dancing. Because back in high school, I took dance all throughout my high school career and was in every talent show all throughout my high school career. Um, I'm still good friends with my dance partner, who's one of my personal best friends in real life to this day. Um, you know, so I'm still, you know, me and that person are still very close. Um, but they wanted to try to force it upon me. Because I did do a dancing video several years ago. Kind of showing some old school friends of mine that were wondering, hey, do I still dance? And I said, yeah, I do. And I showed them what I got, posted it up. And as a result of that, that's all anybody wants to see me do. And if it's not that, they get an enjoyment out of seeing me get mad and rage out. And the reasons why I got mad and raged out so much is because of the fact that these fucking people would continuously do things to push the envelope. Everything from trying to murder me when I'm on a live stream by shooting at me through my bedroom window to showing up to my house in a t-shirt wrapped around their head to where they looked like they were a part of ISIS or Al-Qaeda to where I ended up swinging a baseball bat on that person and ended up going to jail and getting out the next day. This time, well actually way later this time last year. It was like right around June, July of last year. Well, from June up to about October, I was in and out of court all the time. Just in and out, in and out, in and out. All to find out that the charges were getting dropped because the person wasn't showing up. These people have called fire department on my family, misused the police. Um, they have spread so many, and I mean so many lies and rumors to where I am not able to get a regular job. They have gotten personal friends and family of mine fired from their job, including my biological father. They had turned my adoptive dad against me to where he ended up disowning me on a live stream. They had gotten one of my mods who is unfortunately no longer among the living. He was also a personal best friend of mine in real life. Um, they ended up getting him fired from my job, or from his job. Um, anybody that stands up for me, they bully and attack and harass. And it sucks, which is why I'm not able to do anything. And it's gotten to the point where I literally am not able to have a working number because they would call 
they would text and harass me all day long, every day. We've had everybody from FBI agents to detectives and police all out here that all say the same thing. That there is something more going on here. And that I am not a pedophile, but I do need to be careful. And that I am being targeted by some very sick individuals. And like I said, man, this has been going on since about 2017, which is when it all started. So for those of you that don't know, I do hope that this cleared up everything. And I hope that, you know, this explains everything in its entirety. But with that being said, catch you later. Peace.